Hello, my name is Helen Mancy and I'm the author of Bellissimo Wedding Cakes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create sharp edges on a cake, as you can see here. I'm the creator of the Bellissimo Flexi Smoothers. I've made these in conjunction with Squire's Kitchen. Um, there are three in the range. We have the small, the medium and the large. The small are for small cakes, which are three to five inches, like this one here. The medium are for medium cakes, which are six to nine inches, which are these two here. And the large set is for 10 inch plus cakes. Okay, I've got a chocolate mud cake here, which I've made to cover in the sugar paste today. I've prepared it and covered it in ganache. In my book, I've got a recipe for the tempered ganache, which is a lovely recipe for making perfectly smooth, glossy ganache. Um, if you'd prefer to cover your cake in marzipan, that's fine. Just use the method where you cut out a circle for the top and then strip for the sides and leave it to dry for about 48 hours. Okay, so first of all we need to wet the cake and I've got some cooled boiled water here. So we're going to apply liberally with the bristle brush, first of all. Now we want the cake to be completely covered but not soaking wet. So I'm going to apply lots of water to start with and then start taking it off until it's just tacky to the touch. I do find the bristle brushes are best for applying water, but you just have to be careful because they do shed quite a bit. So just make sure there's no stray bristles on your cake. So now that's completely covered, I'm just going to brush the water backwards and forwards just to make sure the surface is covered. And now I'm going to start wiping it off onto some kitchen roll. If there's too much water on there, then it will just ooze out the bottom of the sugar paste and not look very nice. And again, if you don't put too much water on there, if it's too dry, um, then you could get air pockets. So it's very important for it all to be covered. So I'm just going to clean up the board now. And just go around once again, just to make sure it's all covered. Okay, so that's just how I want it. Completely covered, but not dripping wet. So now I'm ready to apply the sugar paste. Um, so now I'm going to roll out my sugar paste. Today I'm using the Squire's Kitchen brand Frosted Leaf, um, but you can use any brand you want as long as it's a nice firm paste. So I've just kneaded the paste first of all, and I'm just going to flatten it with the, my palms of my hand to start with, like so. And then I'm going to dust the surface with a little icing sugar. And I've got my rolling pin here, and as you can see, it's got rolling pin rings on the end. Um, these are five millimeter rolling pin rings, and I just find they give a nice, even thickness to the paste when you roll it out. So I'm just going to start rolling. And then I do a quarter turn, and then roll again. And then each time I turn it, I just reshape it into a circle and then roll again. So I'm just going to come down to eye level now, just to check that the rings are touching the board. I can see they're not quite touching it, so it still needs a few more rolls. Okay, so both rings are touching now. So I'm just going to run over with this smoother, just to smooth out any lines. Okay, and then I'm going to lay the pin in the center, turn it over, and then bring the cake in. So 
So I'm just going to lift the paste now and just drape it over the cake. And straight away, I'm just going to smooth the top, get rid of that air bubble there, and straight away <coughs> attach those corners. If you don't do that straight away, then because these edges are sharp, the paste can cut and just thin here. So that's very important. So now I'm just going to work on easing out the pleats. So just gently pull them apart and just attach sideways. Don't pull the paste down because that will thin it again. Another thing to avoid doing is smoothing on these corners. Um, if you do that, then you're going to lose that lovely sharp edge. So you just need to take your time doing this. Just take a little while, but you'll get there eventually. Okay, so now you can see I've come to the bottom and I'm just turning the cake and rubbing my fingers along that bottom there. And that is to create a line which I'm going to cut through now. So I'm going to use a pizza wheel and I'm just going to cut at the base of the cake about a millimetre away from the edge. If you cut right at the edge of the cake, then when you take the paste away it will lift up and expose the ganache underneath. And um, this makes sure that doesn't happen. away. So now I'm going to use this tool which is called a smedger and that is just going to tuck in that bottom edge. I just need to cut away a little bit more. Okay. That's nicely tucked in there now. Now I've made myself a little pin cushion out of sugar paste and I've got an acupuncture needle here and these are great for getting rid of air bubbles um, without showing holes on the sugar paste. So I'm just going to prick those holes a few times. Just be careful not to insert it into the ganache though because you can end up with little brown flecks on the top of the cake. Okay, so just smooth lightly with a normal smoother to start with. Okay, so now I'm ready to use the flexi smoothers. Um, I've got the medium set here, as this is a seven inch cake. So the way to find out how to position these on the cake is to put this one on the side like so, and the rounded one on the top, and push that to meet the one on the side. And then you can see it's overhanging the cake by about a millimetre, because that's in line with the side. And I'm just going to rub in a circular motion, keeping this hand firm. If you're right-handed, you would do it in the other hands. Hopefully you can see that edge is starting to come up. So once I've worked a small section like so, then I hold the smoothers together and just run them together like so. And that really refines that sharp edge. Okay, so I shall keep working around the cake, doing the same.
Okay, so I've gone all around the cake now and it's all looking nice and sharp. And the last thing I do now is come down to eye level and just check that the cake is looking good from the side. So I just rub the smoother gently around the side. Just checking for any air bubbles and just that top edge is looking nice and sharp. Okay, so that's looking good now. It's all finished. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you how to cover a small cake. Um, this is a four inch cake, so I'm using the small smoothers. And as you'll notice, the curve here is a lot smaller than the curve on the medium set, which is wider. Um, and on the large set, the curve is even larger. And the large set even comes with a larger smooth side smoother as well. So I'll just show you how to hold these smoothers again. Put this one on the side like so, and the rounded one on the top until it meets the side one. So it's just overhanging about a millimeter. And again, as before, just rub around in circles. Now that I've finished covering the cakes, I've stacked them up just to show you the lovely sharp edges and how crisp they look stacked together. Um, all these techniques can be found in my book Bellissimo Wedding Cakes. Thank you for watching.